Swamiji, definitely tap into the liberating potential of the words of the Upanishads. And he taught this to his students. Second aspect that I like to highlight is Swamiji being the ultimate feminist. Many of you in this room will agree with me that Swamiji understood and believed in the vision of the Shastras in that the qualification to learn Vedas and Vedanta is not limited to a few. He actively encouraged anyone who was sincerely interested in the study of Vedanta. Mira, the soul divine, makes an attempt to look at the life of Mira from the perspective of a spiritual journey rather than simply a historical one. Born a princess into the lap of Rajuri, Mira renounced it all to follow a spiritual quest. Thereby, she came to be hailed by all posterity as one of the greatest saint poetesses of Bharatvarsha or India. <laughs> Ravishar, and uh, this is a great evening uh, at uh, Queensboro Community College Performing Arts Centre where Aims for Seva organization organized a special event uh, which was filled with a sense of devotion, uh, immersing in Indian culture uh, with Mirabai. And Saint Mirabai uh, in her different age uh, group was also depicted here of course with wonderful music and uh, the soulful rendition of Mirabai's bhajans and I have the pleasure of the presence of all those who participated and uh, their faces also tells us about how much they enjoyed being a part of uh, the life of uh, Mirabai through this production and I'll start from you you were young Mira for us uh, share your name and how was it playing Mira uh, I'm Shruti Ramohan. Uh, we've been working from this production from April. So I joined them only after May. So from then it was like from morning till evening daily and we were only thinking about Meera literally. Like we were singing, dancing. Even when we were resting or sleeping we had Meera dreams. It was it went to that extent so it was amazing playing the young Meera and uh, we could uh, really see how Chitraka had visualized the concept in her own mind and when she she would dance each and every one of our parts so it was amazing it was just a amazing learning experience it was a experience of a lifetime Shruti you are so articulate it's amazing to hear you so before I uh, go further allow me to ask you very briefly, if you are to say what is it that you find specially relevant that touched you uh, from Mirabai? Um, if, uh, what is relevant is we are in a material world and the first thing I say is Bhushana Vasana Mohenahi Bhave which is I don't want these clothes, I don't want this money. She is just in her own trance state and we have to definitely learn from her. And in this material world I think that's the first thing we have to. Deva,
Uh, it's amazing. Um, it's been a wonderful time. Uh, two months. It's a two-month tour, and uh, we're having an absolutely ama amazing time uh, being part of this uh, soulful experience. And yes, it's fantastic. See, we're like family. We've been, we've lev lived, eaten everything together. So, <laughs> so it's like um, the coordination. Like Chitraka's technique is that even when you're a solo dancer or a group, she gives you the basic structure. It's like the skeleton is sketched out, and then she allows us to flesh it out so that it has its individual characteristics. Because every time. We try, we interact, and we try to be spontaneous, do something different. Because, see, it's a long tour. We are doing this show day, out, day in and day out. So it's very important to have that that's something happening. You know, you forget, then somebody does something to make up. So I think we have a very good chemistry between all of us. And we're very blessed to have a group like this where you literally love everybody. So I think we're just plain blessed. Yeah, I would say that because it's not easy to portray a character like Mira because Mira is an epitome of uh, focus, determination, unconditional love, which is not really easy for any one of us <laughs> in this world. But as we, you know, studied more about Mira, all of us, it's not just, I mean, if one person does the character, all of us delve into deep into it. And as we... As I went deeper into it, I found that the strength that she had within, the conviction and the love for Krishna, that helped her, you know, go beyond all her problems. That's what she says at the end. She says, Meera ke Prabhu sada sahai rakhe bighna hatai. He wow. removes the bighna. So that one single-minded devotion towards Krishna, Giridhari, is all that she needed and took her beyond this samsara. So I think these are little uh, lessons we learn about focus. I mean, for us, it's focus. That's what we learn. That's what I think I personally learned. And bhakti, the complete surrender, I think. Maybe if we take those focus and complete surrender words from her and try to uh, sort of meditate on them, contemplate on them and come to you now. The most cute uh, artist of the whole performance. What's your name? Sahasra. Sahasra. Such a heavy name. Do you know the meaning of Sahasra? Yes. What is it? Thousand. Wow. So here is the thousand girl here. Now, uh, Sahasra, looking at the way in the audience everybody loved you, I think all those who are participating in this production also loves you so much where do you keep that much love is it possible for you to find space for so much love coming for you uh, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> and how was it playing Meera nice very nice very. what grade are you in I'm in second wow second grade and uh, I think that's the zenith of the grade when you try and touch uh, the love of Mirabai and language plays an important role in understanding and yes. I believe all of you, uh, if not all, many of you are from South India and we in generally have the impression that uh, South India means uh, not that much good command over Hindi language and Mirabai is but not exactly the contemporary Hindi but yet. So tell me about uh, the significance of uh, uh, getting into the meaning of uh, her pad. I think this question is not so suitable for me because I am the North Indian <laughs> in the group. I'm Arupa Lahiri, but uh, yes, the language was very different. It was, it is not the regular Hindi that we speak. It is Braj Bhasha, a mixture of Hindi and uh, Urdu and Rajasthani, a lot of words. But under Chitra Akka's guidance and under the scholars that she consulted, we delved into the meaning beyond the word and there with our Guru's guidance we saw the world uh, that that words encompass within them and what Meera really felt that is what is special about this production that Akka chose her own songs to retell her own story so that was very special and I think we all enjoyed 
that process a lot. I I see that joy on your face because after uh, this performance, if uh, you see, uh, if you just look at it from the physical point of view, it must have been strenuous uh, to have all those steps and uh, maybe somebody performs snake for you. Yes. So so going <laughs> going like a snake. I mean, it looks beautiful, but you have to imagine what kind of uh, multiple yoga postures are a part of <laughs> that presentation. But she looks so fresh because of uh, the bhava, if I may say. Now let's. Talk about Baba with you. Uh, your name and uh, when you heard that you are going to be a part of this production, were you excited? Uh, there was any apprehension? Did you tell Chitra Aka that no, no, maybe someone else? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Vidya Anand. Uh, well, uh, Mira is, uh, you know, apprehension. Yes, that you know, initially to be part of such a big production. Will I be able to do justice to it? But Akka being Akka, she just, you know, lifts you up, gives you that hand to lift you up, to make you do it, guides you in, you know, every which way, every every day. It's not like, ek bar ho gaya, I mean, done once, done. No, every day it's a learning process because every day we are trying to do something new and that is that guidance that she gives us. Okay, so here is a question for you. Now, after, in New York, you have performed at a couple of other cities, then came New York. So, what was it that you think uh, was fresh or something uh, which you incorporated later and you learned as you were performing? Uh, like, for example, uh, what I do, I'm the Mira's mother. So, uh, as a mother, uh, even recently, Akka said, you know, refreshing everything. You follow from nature and do, you know, what is uh, what comes naturally as a mother. So it's not every time that one cajoles the daughter, one also scolds her. So every other day, you try to do something <laughs> different to keep the interest going. And Amongst Swami Dayananda Saraswati's Puja Sri Swamiji's last wishes that Mira should be created and it should tour the United States and the UK for collecting funds for such a meaningful project in Fuseva. Try to do spontaneously. Wonderful. So, something new and refreshing uh, comes from the eternal source also. Uh, Mirabai's uh, uh, bhava towards Lord Krishna is a source of uh, joy, inspiration and abundance of wealth for us that inspires us. Tell me, how uh, was it for you to learn about Mirabai from Chitraka? Well, like... We've heard about Meera Bai all through childhood and all of that, but it was only when we got into this production, the layers and layers of her bhakti got exposed to us also. So to actually learn that we were also growing spiritually through the process, even though not all have played the character, but to sit and observe and, you know, watch Akka tell us instances and watch how she interacted with all of us, how when we are in the situation, how you relate to it when you are. So in that process, we all have learned the underlying bhakti that Meera has in her. Did you see anybody uh, sh shedding tears uh, while uh, rehearsing or listening to such soulful... <laughs> We've lost count now. We've lost count of... 
<laughs> the number of times we watched Akka when she is dancing weird with tissue papers in the wings, or even when we watch others, sometimes on stage we are actually feeling that and sharing that. So we've lost count of it. Actually, it's been such an experience. <laughs> it's a great experience. I think many uh, in the audience also had something similar, maybe not that intense as you must have felt. Uh, share your uh, your. Playing very important role. I hear your <laughs> part of the Chidambaram dance, dance company, and uh, right after you, I'll have the opportunity of talking to Chitra Akka. So say something about her uh, which makes her happy. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I'm sure Chitra Akka is happy when we do well on stage and we do justice to what has been given to us, but more than anything she expect us to be true to the art and every day we are trying our level best to be true to krishna and to the art so i think that that's all that gives her maximum pleasure and uh, we try and do whatever we do sincerely so you were probably assistant director also as assistant director you have additional responsibility of being more observant and also if not scolding correcting at least uh, reaching out with uh, uh, proper suggestion at the right time. So, from that point of view, who gave you a lot of trouble here? <laughs> all of them gave me trouble, but I love all of them. And um, you know, if they, if you ask them behind my back, they'll say they hate me because I'm all the time whipping them. It's time to go. It's time to get ready. It's time to be here. It's time to load your bags and keep your rooms neat. Don't do this. Don't do that. But. Yeah, somebody needs to do that and I enjoy doing that <laughs> and, and they love me in return for whatever I do, so I know that. At least in front of you. At least in front of me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now let's, let's, uh, let, let's request Chitra Appa to come, uh, Akka to come here uh, in the center and you guys are dancers, so maybe form in such a way that in the frame we can have most of you. Uh, also, as we talk to her, uh, first of all, I want to profusely thank uh, you for uh, connecting with the spirit of Swami Dayanand Saraswati Ji, as well as, uh, of course, with the spirit of uh, Mirabai, and then uh, connecting us with Lord Krishna. Uh, a production like this, which hasn't happened, uh, how uh, you got the conviction that you would be able to uh, work it out in such a successful manner. It's a bit of a tricky question <laughs> because I never take on anything unless I have the conviction that I can do it. But I think the very fact that it was Puja Sri Swamiji's Adesh that gave me the conviction that without my, uh, us, all of us being able to do this, this blessing would not have happened. So I believe very deeply in the divine and the guru being the conduit of the divine. And once you surrender your all, Krishna makes it happen. Now, this let's try and understand in the presence of them who have understood a little bit as they are performing day after day, uh, traveling and performing and looking as if they did nothing <laughs> during the day. They are so fresh and uh, sharing that freshness uh, with the love of Lord Krishna coming to us as unfolded by Mirabai. So, let's, let's uh, briefly uh, try and understand from you how it evolved. Uh, and I, I believe music has played such an important role uh, in creating. Yes. Actually, uh, it was as late as March that uh, I was approached by InfoSeva and Sheila Balaji was in charge of InfoSeva and Srini from Detroit here had requested that the, I put this uh, Meera, the Soul Divine, together with music by Bombay Jayashree. I gave it some thought, and when I decided, yes, we could do it, Jeshi and I have been together almost every day. Going through it, for us, is a, it was a process of discovery, of revelation. And normally, for a fresh production, this time would have been inadequate. But Jeshi has a strong background in Meera, and I, too, have studied Hindi as a subject in Kolkata. So 
to me, Meera has always been very close to my heart. And somehow there is, you know, though she's depicted as a great bhagini, the strength that was within her was something that I felt that had to be shared because it was like a lodestar for every seeker. And so when I was thinking about do I look at history, do I look at the historical line, or do I, I or what should I present? Because legend and history overlap at so many places. Finally, I decided if this is Pujashri Swamiji's Adesh, it, the message should be to sp spread bhakti. doesn't matter whether Mirabai's mother was alive or not alive when she got married. It didn't matter whether Akbar and Tan Sen came in disguise to hear her uh, singing. It really doesn't matter whether her husband died or lived. Nothing mattered. But the fact that she had that focus and that conviction in her love for Krishna, because it wouldn't have been easy. Today, when we look at our animal luxuries and material life that we are so attracted to, if it's hot, we, we can't live without the air conditioning on. If it's a cold day, we need to be covered. But there she was, living in the lap of luxury, having been born to it, having grown up in that. Maybe she had handmaidens at a beck and call, so my bathing in rose petals and uh, and whatever and uh, and there she would just have to turn and what she wanted would have been there but what she was wanted was not to turn and get that material thing there but to seek that is what attracted me so much to her as a character it has always attracted me since childhood and i thought her spiritual journey will be the essence of Pira, the soul divine. And yes, she totally agreed with me. And we went together hand in hand, holding hands in this journey. And uh, we are so fortunate that one, we are a part of Bharat in the sense that Bharatiya Sanskriti has shaped our vision of life. We are fortunate to have uh, Saints like uh, Swami Dayan and Saraswati Ji. And this was a wonderful combination of the spirit of Swami Dayan and Saraswati Ji as well as the spirit of Bharat as a whole uh, by having uh, the life of uh, Saint uh, Meera, Meera Bhai. So it's a spiritual experience for those who organize it. So before we uh, say bye bye from this stage, let me invite uh, the main organizers uh, for AM for Seva from New York. And um, Anand ji, uh, Ananda ji, and uh, Murli. So interestingly, Chitra ji, uh, you you are aware, but here is Krishna himself actually. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so how how was it experiencing it happening today? It was actually very divineful and very so soul searching for all of us. It was a wonderful experience. She brought the bhava into it so much that we all felt Krishna was with us. <laughs> Chitra Aka um, from this stage inviting you to uh, taste uh, this high uh, which is related to devotion which is related to surrender and that that uh, opens up the doors of pure joy and may uh, you continue to have uh, such uh, wonderful performances and the conviction uh, that gives you courage uh, to take up uh, such 
challenges, such creative challenges, I must say. Uh, lots of thanks to you once again you for being much. a part. Namaskar. And thanks and congratulations to you. Thank you. It was and a pleasure and thanks for the ITV to give us such a support to it. And uh, thanks to all of you for being with us. Uh, this is Ashok Vyas. <laughs>